Welcome again. In this tutorial, we will create user active inactive status. So for that, at first we have to create a status field in our database. So let's create. So I'm just going in my local host, and here is my database name tutorial, and here is the table, users, and I'm going in structure and creating a field called status. So this is the status and tiny integer that I'm using and giving the length two and I'm using a default value that is defined one because when we will I will create a user it should be one if I want to inactive the user then status will be zero so after save if you go in browse and then you will see that status has made one so now next thing that we have to do I'm going in our view so this is the view so we will just create a status in here for the modify okay so let's go and in our template in our index.php so what i'm going to do and I'm, I'm creating a uh, t hat uh, for our status that's actually not status that's this actually change status so i'm giving the field t head name change status it's actually depend on you how you will manage i'm just giving the procedure that how you will do it so this is the action so we, I, we will create this uh, we will create two post link for our uh, active and inactive mode one link will be active and another link will be inactive so what i'm going to do i'm just to copy this post link in here so in previous tutorial i have mentioned that if we want to use a post link inside a form then we have to use the block and also we have to use this uh, post link after the in and so so for that uh, same thing we have to do uh, we are we are going in here and i'm just copy this uh, line that means it's post link that i'm going to copy that we have created for delete and then i'm paste it in here in a td so this is the post link so I'm just changing some values in here. For example, this is the post link for delete. I'm changing it to inactive. That means it will be inactive button. And action will be user status. And then we will send the in, in our post request user ID. And we also send user status. So user status by default one. Uh, so I'm just giving here the status. That means user status will be sent. And this is the block true that I have used. And, and here I'm changing the font from alert message. And I'm saying, are you sure you want to uh, inactive this user like that? So this block I have used. And this is the inactive uh, for our inactive uh, button to inactive the user. And another. Uh, button we have to create in here for our active so i've just created another post link and in this time i am changing the value in here called the active and giving here the controller and the action will be users giving here the action and name will be user status same status and sending the same information user id and user status it will be actually sent in post request and i have used here block because I have used a from in here. This is the from actually we have created a tutorial for delete all. So for this reason, now we have to use this block. So if you have no any block, uh, no any form, uh, then you don't need to use this block. And if you use this block, you should give this post link in here. Uh, that means after the from in. So after save, uh, if you go, then you will see two button in here. Uh, this is the inactive and this is the active you can see so we have to give a condition in here that means if user status equal to one then we will see the inactive button and if user status will be zero then we will be see active button so i'm just giving a condition in here so php tag this is the php tag and giving the if condition if this user status uh, equal to one then this button and giving here else. 
So you have to use this colon in here. I'm using the colon. And here's the PHP tag that I have finished. And then we have to finish the else here, if here. So I'm just giving it the int if in here, like that. So this is quite simple that we have given a simple condition. This is status one, then we will see the inactive button. Else you will see the active button. So after save, if you go and delude your page, you will see all is the inactive button in here because all in all users are active here. So now I'm going in my uh, controller, going in my controller. So here is the source, here is the controller, here is the admin prefix, and here is the user's controller. And creating a function in here for the public function user status and I'm taking here the two variable called ID equal null and here the status that I am sending so after the status that I will just give here two line that I have used in delete so just copy this two line and paste it in here and first one is we will we will allow only method post so I'm just removing the delete in here the second thing that have, they have used the get method is get actually for fetch the data that, that we have sent ID. So if you want to see see the debug user, that means user information in here, and if you make the exit in here, okay, so this will be debug like that. So after save, if you go in here, and if you just click here and see that you can see the user information, and you can see the user status is one. So we have to give the accessible, that means is the accessible, this is the accessible, you can see that there is the no in status field. So we have to give this accessible, without, without this so we are not able to save our status data. So I'm going in my model, so this is the model, and this is the entity, in this entity there is the user.php, we have to give the user in here, status in here, so I'm giving the status, and this is the true and save. So after save, if you go again and it just follow in here, the accessible index, so I'm sending again. You can see now it's status now present in here. So now we are able to save the status. So I'm going in here. So close this line and going in here and accessing the status. So here the user status so we are mentioning the we are assigning the value that means 0 or 1 so giving the two line Sorry. okay so when we will send the status 1 if uh, this user status sorry we are not the user status we actually send the we will we'll take the variable status and this is actually this is status we are actually send the status in here and we are able to grab it by this line so after this we are able to grab this status so this is status if this is status equal one then we will set the user status zero else we will just give a line in here else this user status will be one then that means when user will be sent with status uh, zero uh, with status one that means user is, is active now we want to make it inactive that means we are actually in an inactive button so this user will be zero and else that means we are sent we, are, we actually sent the request with uh, status uh, uh, zero that means it will be one I think it's a very simple thing. So after that, we have to save the data. That means we are assigned it in here. Now we have to just update the data. So for update in tech PHP, you have to just write a simple code. This user save and user like this. This user and the save. In this method, we have to pass the user variable like that. So you can write like if this uh, user save then 
you can you you can uh, give a simple flash message that means the user status has changed like that so i'm just this user status has changed and you can redirect the user in the same place so i'm just giving the return this redirect action in that space so after save if you go and go in your users page so you can see the inactive all the users are inactive so after click on here you are you want to inactive okay you can see uh, okay so you are seeing a problem function save on now okay let's see so you can see so you can see that uh, here uh, we actually make user okay, it will be actually users uh, okay there, there's it's a mistake it's a controller so you you have to give the users if the user save this is plural and then save then it will shoot work now so let's see again so now give here inactive and okay you can see the user status has changed you can see this has the this status here changed the button also changed so if you uh, actually it's now inactive mode this user and you can see i'm just making another inactive and this also it has made inactive so now for, for when we will log in we should not give the access for these two users so let's try so before that we have to write some code in our log so i'm going in my login method so where is my login method? here's the login method so when we will set the user auth information we have just used here auth component i think if you use the plugin and everything is same so when you will set user information in here you are actually able to see the user information in here after login so i'm giving here the uh, user and giving here the exit like that so after save if you go and log out and giving the username it is cms123 you will see this status is zero but we still able to access uh, but uh, you can also see it's actually an array it's not an object so if you give a simple condition in here for example i'm giving here the condition if user if user status it's array uh, it's an array so if user status uh, equal zero that means inactive then uh, you will be give a clash message first so i'm just copy and paste this clash message and we will just write that uh, you have not access permission not access permission and then you will send the user in logout phase so you actually i'm just copy this line we'll just redirect user to our logout phase so users and logout then when user will try to uh, log in then you will if, if it's get the status zero uh, we have actually made a mistake in here we have to give this array in here okay so when we will uh, get the status zero it will be give a it will give a access permission flash message then it will redirect the user in logout phase that means logout action so let's see now so i'm going in my here i'm going to log out now and try to log in using the p2cms 123 and after submit you will see the user have not access to permission so now uh, what i will do oh i will just changing my uh, manually changing my status or or i can just changing the yeah, changing my status for access so now I am giving the condition again, it is same as 1, 2, 3, so I am able to access, so I am going to active my, uh, are you sure you want to inactive, we actually, 
made a mistake in here. It's not actually a mistake. We're just giving a giving a flash message. It's the same flash message that we have used. I'm just changing it active here, giving the message. Active. So after save, we can see now. So now, so now it's a it's in uh, inactive mode. So you can after click it will be inactive. So you the button has been changed now active. So after clicking here, you can see that button will be changed and it is now inactive. So I'm just changing the user's status zero again. So if it's status zero, that it will be not uh, given the access permission. So after save, log out my page, my user that I'm using this and it's actually in a status in a active mode. So I'm going in my logout. Don't make mistake, it's not actually status, it's actually change status mode. That means it's a button. So when you will click in here, that means it will be inactive. When you will click in here, it will be active. This is the button. Okay. So when I'm, I'm just uh, log out my page and trying to access using P2CMS 123 submit, it will be access because I have my status is active. But if I made this inactive now, so it's now inactive. So now if I just log out, if I try to log in now, then it will give me a message, a message that you have not access permission. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome for the next.